babies it's that time again oh yeah I tried to get into the book, uh, the book of Revelation, but <clears throat> couldn't quite get there. I skipped chapter 8, 9. <clears throat> it's all about vengeance. Um, I'm not sure if I skipped 10 or if I was in 11. I don't know. Something about uh, eating a little book being sweet to the taste, but bitter in the stomach and the point of that is to continue prophesying okay <laughs> somebody's going way too fast um, so I'm not sure what to make of that. I might come back to that in a moment but <clears throat> recently some things have happened that are just so uh, frustrating in my life and uh, you know I'm asking God like you, you couldn't you couldn't have intervened at some point here to save me from this nonsense and of course he could, but if he chooses not to, then there's a good reason for it somewhere. It's just not apparent to us at the time. Um, then I started thinking about how Well, because of that, how frequently we don't understand what's going on. And if that's the case, how interested is God in actually revealing himself to us, right? If it's that hard to understand God, then what's happening? So then that got me thinking, well, maybe for some people, it's easier than others because their, their task isn't that challenging. And I'm thinking, well, maybe the reason that the task isn't as challenging is because they are not called to a higher purpose. So that got me thinking <laughs> that we're all kind of in different levels of expectation based on the authority and responsibility that we're being prepared for. And that got me thinking that that might be the reason why I cannot for the life of me figure out what is going on. Except For what I'm 
presenting to you now. That the call of God can be so high and so exacting and so narrow that the only way for us to be prepared for his service in those extreme cases is if we are completely disconnected from needing circumstances to be in any kind of favorable way. That's it. <laughs> That's it, baby. Now, as I'm thinking this, I said to the Lord, now, if you give, if you give me some confirmation about what it is I'm thinking, that would be great because clearly what I'm thinking is very unique and it's not for everybody. In fact, that might be why some Bible verses just escape our understanding is because they're not for everybody. As well as they might just not be for anybody because it was somebody's idea and it wasn't breathed by God. So I said that to the Lord. I'm like, well, if you get, could give me some confirmation on this, because this is clearly a, a unique word, that would be great. And um, if you've been following me at all, you know that um, I've been talking about this life in the spirit as being matriculated in a university that this is the curriculum. And that's why if you, you're up against something difficult, it might just be God is drawing you into a more patient position, which is not dependent on any circumstance. So this morning, as I'm laying in bed before uh, getting started, I had uh, this guy on, his name is Ram Das. And he was teaching about, you know, the difficulties of life, etc., as he usually does. Um, and then at the end of his message, he says, just what I just said to you, <laughs> that this life is the curriculum and we need to be matriculated. He used those very words. <laughs> so I'm looking at that as God's uh, confirmation to what's going on with me. Am I delighted about it? <laughs> Not really because it's so painful because um, you just want to be at peace and you want to be in a continual place of movement and inspiration so that's what's on my agenda for today I'm going to try and find myself in that place where I'm learning what I need to learn, enjoying the presence of God as I'm learning it, cultivating thanksgiving, faith, patience, love, being fully matriculated in the university of the Holy Spirit. Oh, yeah.